bonjour, what is up, welcome back to another video. If you're new, hi, this is my channel, this is my Instagram, this is my Twitter. And go follow me on all there, and don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to this channel. So, another module review, are we surprised? I don't think so. This is um, Public Law, which I originally thought was the bane of my existence. I have found another topic that is now the bane of my existence, but it was the bane of my existence at the time. It is basically politics. Not law, just pure politics. It was all about Parliament's role in the law, how laws are created, and just the UK government in general, so like how it's set out, like the two houses, the House of Lords and the House of Commons, and all, yeah, all about passing a bill, all about creating, I have, I'm bored just talking to you guys about it. I mean, I hate public law, I really, really do. I just, I, I did politic, government and politics at A-levels, and I just couldn't, just, just couldn't do it. I mean, I don't understand why politics is so hard for me, but it's just, and luckily, you don't have to know that many politicians. I mean, it helps if you know politicians' names. But the way our um, our politics, our public law, I said politics, our public law was set out. It's like you had, you didn't have to know MPs. That's what I'm trying to get at. You didn't have to know MPs to do this. So thank God because I don't know any. Parliamentary sovereignty is the massive elephant in the room in this topic. You will constantly, well it's not really an elephant in the room, you constantly talk about parliamentary sovereignty. I mean, unfortunately it's leaked into some of my second year modules and I just, I, just, I thought if I had to hear, hear the words parliamentary and sovereignty, parliamentary and sovereignty together, um, again, I was gonna like, you know, jump out a window, but I didn't, but I've had to hear it, but oh crumbs. The amount of times someone says parliamentary sovereignty, I think we did an assessment on it. I genuinely think that was one of my assessments. I can't remember, but I think it was. It delves into the three branches of governments and their power over each other and their powers in general. So a lot of separation powers. Then we, we do compare a lot of public law to the American system, which is fun. So yeah, a lot of comparative writing in public law. There's a nod, like, near the end of the module to the Human Rights Act, 1998, but we cover that far more in equality and human rights in your second year, so you don't really have to worry about it in your first year. Luckily, we didn't have an exam in this topic. We, it was pure written assessment. I got a 2-1 in this subject, which I was, I was so happy with. I mean, I honestly thought I was going to fail this module, but I didn't, so it was great. So, yeah, I mean, just a lot of politics, guys, and I know... It sucks, and like even the lecturers pointed us out, it's like, we know you wanted to come here to do law, but unfortunately you have to learn this to know law to get a qualifying law degree, so we know it isn't technically law, but you here, have a bit of a politics module in between. <sighs> Which was fun, it, it really was just, I, I hated it so much. But it's not the worst topic I've ever done, let me just say that now. It was easy to understand-ish, and yeah, if you like politics and you like keeping up with that sort of stuff, then you're definitely going to like public law. That's been me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to hit a thumbs up down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Hit the big red subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my wonderful, magical, fantastical internet family already. Comment any questions down below you have about public law, about any law module, about law degree in general, university in general, or just ask me a question because, you know, I'm here. And all the messages will be linked down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.